sharing my screen with you. And we're going to share that screen here. And what we're going to look at today is uh, what's called, uh, we're going to look at it from declarer's point of view and the defense's point of view. And it's a situation of getting a rough and discard or trying not to give away a rough and discard. Um, and it sometimes also comes up in the topic of, it's called a, an, an end play when you, uh, or a throw in play, when, when you throw in an opponent and the, whatever they lead helps you. So it's a very useful topic and it can be done even if you're you know, not particularly experienced, just recognizing that there are some suits you'd rather have the opponent's lead. So let's have a look at this hand here to start with, where you opened one heart. There was a one spade over call. North jumped to three hearts, and you've got something like uh, 17 points, and you jump to uh, go to four hearts. So the opponents lead the king of spades. And let's stop for a minute and try and count how many possible losers you have here. So take a minute. There isn't a poll. Um, think about how many possible losers you have here. Well, we've got a spade we're going to lose. We hopefully won't lose any hearts and we won't lose any clubs. We've got the ace, king, queen. So apart from one spade, the only other suit where we might lose tricks is in diamonds. And our goal here is to try to make at least one diamond. If we can make one diamond, then we'll only lose one spade and two diamonds. So let's have a look at this. Um, what we're going to do here is, let's suppose we win that first trick with the ace of spades. Then we're going to draw trump. Okay, so we draw trumps, fall there in two rounds. And then we're going to play the clubs. And what we're doing is we're not playing the diamond suit. We're deliberately playing off our clubs here. All the trumps have gone. And then when, once we've done all that, we're going to just lose a trick. We're always going to lose a spade trick. So what we're going to do is play a spade now and let the opponents win that one. Now, if we show the four hands at this point, you'll see that at this point, <clears throat> West has won with the 10 of spades and West doesn't have any more clubs. West doesn't have any more hearts. So they're going to have to play either a spade or a diamond. And if they lead a diamond, we have this holding where we've got the queen and the jack in opposite hands. And if the opponents lead a diamond, we can always make one trick. And if the opponents don't lead a diamond, if West uh, uh, instead leads another spade, then that will allow us to rough the spade in one hand while we discard from the other. So either way, we can avoid losing three diamond tricks. I don't know if you can see, but if, the, if we have to play this diamond suit ourselves, then if the defense defend correctly, we will always lose three diamonds. In other words, if I were to um, lead a low diamond, second hand should play low. I would play the jack, which would lose to the king. And then later on, the queen would lose to the ace. But if the opponents lead a diamond, I can guarantee one trick. So if they lead a diamond here, the key play here is not to play the jack, just to play low here. And I'm going to make one diamond trick here. East will probably play the king here. And now I've got the queen and jack left, so we'll always make a trick. So if they play another diamond, whatever happens, they can only take one more trick and I'll take the third diamond and I'll make my 10 tricks there. And so what I did, what was the important thing on this hand was that I drew trumps, I got rid of my club so that the opponents, um, if they lead a club, I get a rough and discard. And then I didn't play my diamonds. I just played a low spade. The opponents got in and whatever they lead now will help me. So 
this was a situation where East and West can't really do anything about this um, and declare can avoid losing three diamonds by not leading the diamonds themselves. Does anyone have any questions on that? So the thing to look out for in hands like this is situations where you've got, uh, you know, the, an honor in each hand, say, and you'd rather not play this suit yourself. You'd rather have the opponents lead this suit. Or if they don't lead it, they may lead something that allows you to get a rough and discard. Let's have a look at this hand here where um, this was the one I sent out via email. And again, if we have a look at this hand together, you can see you've got two possible spade losers. You're not going to lose any hearts or any diamonds, um, but you might lose a club. And this, again, is a situation where you'd really like to have the opponents lead clubs for you. And if they do lead clubs, you can avoid any club losers. So the way to um, avoid a club loser is to get the opponents to lead that suit. So what we're going to do is let's win that first trick with the ace. Let's draw trumps, which fall in two rounds. And now the key thing to do is to play your diamonds. Eliminate that suit so they can't return a diamond without helping you. And now we've set the stage. All we now need to do is play a spade. The opponents will get in and will cash another spade. But at this point, West is end played. West, whatever West plays now may help you. If they lead a club, you can see that you've got the ace 10 and the king jack there. Then you will avoid losing a club trick. You'll just play low from dummy and you will make a trick, make all three tricks. And if instead of playing a club, if they lead um, another suit, a suit where you are now void, uh, for example, a diamond, you can now discard in one hand while you rough in the other. So we could discard a club here while we rough in our own hand. And now we are not going to lose any clubs, okay? So at this point here, we'll just um, take our two club tricks, rough a club, and we'll make 11 tricks here. So on this hand, West is, is, gets end played, and whatever they play, because Declare is void at the end in diamonds um, and in spades, whatever they play can help Declare. Okay, so that's an, another example of uh, getting end played. Let's have a look at this, um, another one here. And this time the king of clubs is played against your four heart contract. And have a little think about how many possible losers you have here. Anyone like to count up your losers and tell me how many losers you have all together there? Four. Four. Three. Four. Three, someone said. Three. Well, 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 I think you've got four. four because four. you have a loser in each suit. You've got a spade loser, the ace of hearts, you've got a diamond loser, and you've got a club loser. And it seems that this is a pretty hopeless contract. Um, what's very bad about the these two hands is that you've got what's called a mirror symmetry. You've got the same distribution in both hands, and there's no opportunity to rough anything here. So you're, you're in a pretty hopeless contract, and you should be defeated unless the opponents make a mistake. And if we have a look at the, uh, have a look at the hands, let's bring up the four hands. Uh, let's suppose you win that first trick. Let's suppose you draw... Trump start drawing trumps and East gets in with the uh, ace of hearts well East has got an opportunity now to let you make the contract if they carry on with another yeah. club in fact if I click on the GIB link you can see that if East plays anything else the contract can be defeated 
But if East leads a club, um, then De Clara can make this contract. Now, East shouldn't play a club, and you need to be very wary when you're a defender of leading a suit where dummy is void in that suit and declarer might also be void in it. If you lead a suit where dummy and declarer are void in the suit, you give declarer a chance to do something they can never do on their own. And if he makes a mistake here of playing a club, now declarer can make their contract because they can rough in one hand while they discard a loser, either a diamond or a spade from dummy. And now, thank you very much, they can now make the contract. They'll just draw that last trump and then they can uh, play another trick. Now they can rough a diamond here and they'll end up at the end just losing one spade trick, but they'll make 10 tricks in a seemingly impossible contract. And it was all caused by East making the mistake of continuing with clubs um, even though Dummy was void in that suit. And it happened that Declarer was void in that suit also. Do interrupt me if you have any comments or questions on that. Um, what should East have done? Well, simply not returned um, a club. So uh, if we play this hand again, and you can see that the, um, let's just look at it from East's point of view. When the, when the club is, when they play a heart, East wins the ace, let's say, and they have to not return the suit that's void in dummy. They just need to return something else. I mean, it doesn't matter on this hand what they return. They might, you might play a heart actually as a, a safe lead, one that doesn't help Declarer. So Declarer wins that one. Let's suppose they play another round of hearts and then play a diamond. So Declarer wins that one with the king, plays a diamond back. They win that one with the ace, and they play another diamond, which you win with your queen. And again, East is on lead again here, and East must not lead a club. Okay, it's the same situation. It, it's occurred later on now, but they just have to lead a spade and hope that their partner has something there that will help. Um, but if you lead a club, Declare will be able to rough and discard again. So just play a spade here, and you hope you'll uh, eventually manage a trick for your side. Um, by the way, when you're in that situation and you've got a suit you don't want to lead like clubs, you should be throwing away that suit as a discard, so at your first opportunity, because you never want to lead that suit. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll make uh, one trick there and good defense will defeat the contract as long as you hold on to the right thing there. Do interrupt me if you have any questions on any of that. And let's have a look at this one here. This was actually a hand that got played um, uh, several months ago. And most people ended up playing this in a spade contract by North South. Um, and a lot of the defense managed to let the Declare actually make 10 tricks on this. Let's have a look at it. Went north, opened one, no trump. You as east overcalled two hearts. I think that's a very good overcall. South bid two spades, which is a sign off, really. It's saying, I want to play it in two spades. I've got at least five spades and a few points. But it comes back round to you. Suppose you bid three hearts and north bids three spades. Well, you've pushed them one level higher than they wanted to be. And let's have a look at this. Let's try and see how it goes. So your partner's on lead and leads the king of hearts. And you should be thinking about what that lead, what that lead means. It could be a singleton, I suppose, or top of a doubleton, something like that. Let's see what happens. Let's give an encouraging signal with a 10. And your partner continues. You take the ace and you win the second round. Now, now is a good time to work out where all the missing hearts are. We've drawn two rounds. There are none in dummy. Uh, I've got four left. So someone's got the queen of hearts and I think it's south. I think that my partner led the king and the three. So they probably had a double turn. If they had king, queen, three, they should have really led the king and then the queen. So declare us left there with the queen of hearts. And I think I'm gonna play another heart here. 
because that queen is good now. And if I play another heart, maybe my partner will be able to, um, uh, well, my partner should be able to rough it. Even if it gets over after in dummy, at least it will prevent the queen from making a trick. So let's lead another heart. And yes, your partner roughs with the eight. That's okay. Let's um, end the poll and share the results with you. And most of you have gone for the five. Um, 87% have said the five. And most of you, I'm sorry to say, are wrong. Um, what is going to happen? First of all, you should realize on this hand that your partner is very weak. Okay, you had a lot of points and the opponents are in, in three spades here. Um, and the problem with playing the five here is that the opponents will win that and they will likely or can now play another spade. And what they have done by playing another spade is they have thrown you in. You are now end played because anything you lead is going to help declarer. There are no more hearts. So if you play a heart, declarer will be able to rough in one hand while they discard a loser from the other. And if you don't play a heart, you'll have to lead a minor suit. And if you lead a, a minor, a diamond, you can see you're leading into dummy strength. If you lead a club, that's equally bad. You'll avoid, you're leading into dummies, ace, queen. So the mistake here was to um, play low on the first spade because then you can get thrown in with your ace. And now, no matter what happens here, East is going to help Declarer. If East leads a heart, Declarer has a chance to discard in one hand while they rough in the other. Here they might decide to discard a club, which is a possible loser. They can rough in their own hand, and now they've avoided one of their losers. They might now play the ace of clubs. They're going to now rough a club. Your king, unfortunately, comes down, so they rough that. And now all they need to do is cross to dummy with the ace, king of diamonds, and they can play the queen of clubs, discarding a diamond. And played that way, uh, declarer can make 10 tricks on this hand. And when this was played, a lot of declarers did manage 10 tricks here. And it was all East's fault um, because East didn't take the ace of diamonds at the right time. Of the ace of heart, ace of spades at the right moment. How should this have gone? Well, let's play it again up to the uh, spade being led. And when the spade is played here, East, you've got to be on the ball here and realize you need to stop being end played. You need to save yourself. And the only way to do that is to play the ace so that now you have a safe card to play back that doesn't help declarer. And that is the five of spades. You play the five of spades. Declarer wins that. And now declarer, if, you, if we have a look at the four hands, declarer's now drawn all the trumps. And you can see that declarer's got finesses to try maybe in diamonds and maybe in clubs. Let's suppose they try the um, diamond uh, finesse and they play the jack and it loses to the uh, to the queen and I've got the second poll of the evening you've just won the queen of diamonds uh, what car what suit should East play now so let's launch a second poll what should after winning the queen of diamonds what should East play Okay, let's um, share the results with you. And most of you here have gone for a diamond, 75%, with a smaller number going for a club or a heart. And yes, of course, the right answer here is a diamond. Um, you're hoping to make a trick with your king here, and you won't make a trick with your king if you lead that suit. All right, so... So don't um, don't lead a club. 
uh, don't leave the heart because that will be the same as happened last time. Declaro could can discard a club while they rough. The safe card to play back is, of course, a diamond. That is not helping Declara just lead a diamond back. Um, Declara can take their diamonds, but at some point um, they will try the club finesse and you will make your king. Okay, so you will hold Declara to eight tricks there if you defend that way. By the way, at this point, when you've just taken your king of clubs, it's quite okay for you to lead a heart at this point because there are no more trumps in dummy. So this business of not leading a suit, um, you shouldn't lead a suit when north is void in that suit and south is void in that suit. Um, but if only one of the hands has got trumps left, then it's okay to do that. It's if they've both got at least one trump left that you should avoid that. So whatever you play now, Declara will make the rest of these roughing and taking the ace of clubs. But you'll hold Declara to eight tricks instead of the 10 tricks they made the first time you played this. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? And um, let's uh, have a look at this one here. Is this the right one? Yeah, let's have a look at, oh yeah, let's have a look at this one here where it's gone one heart, one spade, three hearts, three spades. And here's a, a similar situation where if we count our losers, we can see, let's suppose they leave the queen of spades and let's just look at dummy for a minute. Well, we've got a spade loser um, and we have probably one club loser perhaps two club losers are possible. This club situation where you've got the ace 10 and the jack is again, something where you would rather the opponents lead this suit rather than you lead it. So we are again going to try to eliminate the side suits and then hope the opponents lead a club or give us a rough and discard. So let's win that first trick. Let's start by drawing trumps. So that's, um, Two rounds gone, that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's one more trump to go. Let's get rid of that last trump. And we're, we're going to throw the opponents in here with a spade at some point. But before we do that, we need to get rid of the diamond suit so that they can't return a diamond without helping us. So we're going to play two rounds. We're going to rough a diamond, okay? And now we're going to cash the eight king of spades and play a spade a loser. The opponents will get in here, but whatever they play may help us. If they play um, a suit other than a club, we'll be able to rough in one hand while we discard from the other. And if they lead a club, it may help us too. So because we've got honors in both hands, we may make... Uh, two tricks here if they lead a club. Let's suppose they do lead a club. We'll play low from dummy. The queen can win the trick. Um, and then what? Well, if you look at East's hand at this point, East has just won the queen. East might well decide not to lead a club back because they're leading into the ace 10. And if they uh, instead lead a diamond, which is the only other choice, now Declara can rough in one hand while they discard from the other. They might rough discard a club while they rough with a 10 of hearts there. And now they're going to make that uh, extra trick again, making 11 tricks um, there because they only lost one club trick. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on that. And finally, let's have a look at this one, which we're going to look at from West's point of view. So here it's gone one spade. You doubled. That's a good takeout double. You've got a pretty nice hand. I think you've got uh, one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, about 14 points. So you double, the opponents end up in four spades. And you should realize on this hand that your partner is probably extremely weak here. You've got 14 points. The opponents have reached game. And you should be thinking that your partner doesn't have much for you. Anyway, we leave the king of clubs. And down comes dummy, and Declara takes the ace, leads the queen of 
uh, spades and he's obviously finessing there and he loses to my king so i've just won that trick and i've got a poll question for you now you've just won the king of spades what suit are you going to play now what suit do you think we should play now yeah we've had a very even uh even response here a spade a heart or a club well let's go back to the hand and sorry this one here let's go back to the hand and i think this is not a difficult problem you led the king of clubs it lost to the ace but you have set up some clubs and a hundred percent here you should be returning another club you're hoping to make um, at least one or two more clubs and you should not be leading anything else other than a club here so just play another club here you're able to take one trick to try another one which declare a rough so that's a bit of bad news um so now what now declare a finishes drawing trumps they play the jack of spades and they lead the jack of diamonds your partner plays low declarer plays low and you take your king and i've got the final poll question of the evening which is having won the king of diamonds what suit should west play now okay let me end the poll here and i'll share the results with you for the last time well, most of you have gone for a heart and 73% and 27% went for a diamond. No one went for a club, which I agree with. Yes, you don't want to be playing a club here because Declare will be able to rough in one hand while they discard from the other. Um, what do we make of the diamonds here? Well, Declare led the jack and let it run around to your king so i think it's very likely that declarer has the ace and the queen if De if your partner had the queen for example they should have played it on the jack they should have played second hand high so it's much more likely that declarer's got the ace and the queen in their hand and that they they were trying the finesse and it failed but what you want to do here is play as carefully as you can not to give away a trick. And the suit you should be playing back here is a diamond. You really want to play a diamond back. It's the only way to defeat the contract if the layout is something like this. You can see Declare is going to make these two diamonds now. You can't do anything about that but they may have a loser. And if they have a loser, it's in hearts. And the last thing you want to play is a heart. A heart will give Declare a trick with the jack. A club would also be bad as Declare can rub and discard, but the safe suit to play back is a diamond. And it, it's not going to help Declare make anything they couldn't make themselves. They, they've got the ace and queen, or if they have a third diamond, they would make that too. But as it is, it, it takes a diamond lead to defeat the contract. Declarer will make the ace and queen, but they'll be left with that um, jack of hearts at the end, and you'll make your queen. If you lead the heart, then you don't make a, a heart trick. So uh, what was the clue in all this? Well, the, the clue is really, if we, if we go back to the beginning, the clue is realizing that you've got a strong hand here. Your partner probably has virtually nothing for you. And if you lead something like a heart here, you're leading into strength in declarer's hand. So you want to stay away from leading a heart and just make the safest possible return there of um, after you've cast your clubs of taking your uh, playing a diamond back and hopefully you can make the queen so that was it for today these, these are all some slightly tricky hands in not um not leading things that will help declarer not being end played um and trying to get out of that so that
that was all I wanted to talk about today. Um, did anyone have any questions about that? If uh, if not, we'll stop um, stop sharing the screen there. And um, if anyone needs a partner, you can either join a table or speak up now, and I can see who's looking for a partner to play at seven thirty. So anyone who wants to play, you can. So Francis, are you looking for a partner? Oh, sorry, no. I was waiting to thank you before I left. <laughs> All right, Ro Roma is looking for a partner, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Is there anyone else? I need a partner. Sala. Yeah. Anyone else? Do you think you two could play together then, Roma and Sala? As long as Roma don't mind. All right. Yes. I'll, okay. I'll see the rest of you online then. Okay. Thank you all very much. Okay then. Bye bye.